In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of posterior part of scapula and shoulder joint. In first part, I am going to explain anatomy of muscle, then nerve, then I am going to explain important structure on the posterior part. The first thing I am going to explain the muscles very quickly. The first one is this one. This is one of rotator cuff muscles. This one is supraspinatus. Supraspinatus. Then if I have supraspinatus, I have infraspinatus as well. This one is infraspinatus. You see this name? This is infraspinatus. Infraspinatus. This is one of rotator cuff again. Then, one more rotator cuff we see in this picture, so this is it. This one is, you see this, teres minor. Teres minor. You don't see the last rotator cuff muscle in this picture. By the way, it is subscapularis. Subscapularis is on anterior part of scapula. That's why you are not able to see the subscapularis in this picture. Then, what is this one, this muscle, this one? This is teres major, teres major. This is not a rotator cuff muscle. It's a little bit confusing in between teres minor and teres major. You know, teres minor is rotator cuff. Teres major is not a rotator cuff muscle. I change color, then this very big muscle we have in shoulder joint. This is here, yeah, deltoid. Deltoid muscle. Because its shape is like a triangular, that's why it is deltoid. Delta, okay? Then last one is this one, actually including this one. This is triceps. Brachiae. It's a upper arm muscle, right? So deltoid, triceps, brachiae. So this is the basic muscles on posterior part of the shoulder joint. So next part, I'm going to explain the nervous tissue around this part. You see a lot of nerve on posterior part. Let's say this one, this nerve. This nerve is very, very important, and its uh, direction is kind of unique. It's coming from this way, it's from a cervical spine, then curves like this, like a sharp curve, then kind of bifurcate here. This nerve is suprascapular nerve. Suprascapular nerve. So, since this direction is very unique, it has tendency to get impingement kind of easy because it follows the shape of scapula so if you use scapula too much it can have a friction around this part then it makes a pain or dullness or numbness around here okay this is suprascapular nerve and what is this one this part okay this is axillary nerve Actually, you see name here, axillary, axillary nerve. This is also important. I will explain why that is important later. Anyway, this is axillary nerve. And you see a little bit nerve here running in between this space. I uh, will go back and you see this part, this yellow one. This yellow one is also important. This one is radial nerve. It's not actually a shoulder nerve. It sends nervous tissue towards elbow, forearm, and thumb side. However, this location is very, very important. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Three nerves. Suprascapular nerve, axillary nerve, and radial nerve. Then next part, I will explain the important place along shoulder joint. So two places I am going to explain. One is 
here and one is here. The first place is this one. You see, this is kind of a square shape, right? Rectangular shape. This space is called quadrilateral space. Quadrilateral space. You know, because it's like a quadrilateral rectangular shape. This place is very, very important. Why? Because you see the nerve and artery passing this space. What are they? The one is this one. I already showed you. This is what? Axillary nerve. Okay, and artery passes this space as well. What is this artery? This is it's a long name. Posterior circumflex humeral artery. It's a long name. Posterior circumflex humeral artery. Circumflex means like a round shape. This artery kind of round or wrap around the humerus. So two structures, axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery. Let's check its composition. How is this quadrilateral space made by? Okay, so this structure is made by four structures. The one is this one, actually this guy. This is humerus, you know, bone, humerus. It, it creates right here, this place. And one is teres minor, inferior part of teres minor. Then, next one is this part of triceps brachii. You know, this is triceps brachii. Then, this part of, what is this muscle? This is teres major. I change color. This part of humerus. This part of teres minor. And this part of triceps brachii. Then, let's see, I use blue color. This part of teres major, you know, quadrilateral space. Then axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery passes here. So what if humerus gets the fracture or dislocation or somebody has a rotator cuff rupture or rupture on the triceps brachii or teres major? Any kind of dysfunction can decrease this space. Then what's gonna happen? Then it can pinch axillary nerve or this artery. This place is very, very important. Very close to shoulder joint. Then it is easily affected by dislocation or fracture or shortened muscle. Okay? Quadrilateral space. Very, very important. Then this place, it is kind of the small place. This kind of a triangular place, you know, from this gap, I can, you can palpate radial nerve. This place is also important. This place is not very thick, so you can easily palpate radial nerve. Sometimes this part can be very, very tight and can irritate radial nerve. You know, radial nerve is very important for triceps brachii, forearm, and thumb side. So if this part gets tight, it can irritate radial nerve. This triangular place and quadrilateral space are very, very important. So in this video, I explained basic anatomy of posterior part of scapula and shoulder joint. Then I explained nervous tissue, then important space. I hope this video helps your understanding of anatomy. If you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in next video.